Hey, how's it going, guys? This is uh, this is Chris. It's officially my first video blog. I I've never done a video blog before. Uh, I've been inspired to do beer reviews. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of beer reviews, and and just to be completely honest with you, like I've never. You know, I'm not one to review beers. I have no experience in it. I've watched a lot of beer review videos, and I'm basically going to follow suit with what I've seen. So, uh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to start the day off with Amsterdam. Oh, here, let me fix my camera just a little bit more here. Oh, 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 there you go. All right, this is uh, Amsterdam from Bois. It is a uh, raspberry Amsterdam. You can tell how clear and red it is. Wow, I'm still not used to holding up a beer in front of a camera. Uh, yeah, everything's backwards. Um, now it's six point five percent. I've had this beer before. I'm not like particularly a huge fan of it because I've I've had fruity beers and you know from Fruly to K, what is it, KLB? Yeah, KLB. I, I'm just not like a fan of those kinds of beers. They don't really, they don't, Fruly, it doesn't really have much of a raspberry taste and it tastes, I, I just, all around bad, I don't like Fruly. And, and the other one, uh, it's not a bad beer. It's just, the KLB, I just, I find it doesn't taste too much like raspberry. But this one, this is the kicker. This is gonna give you the raspberry you're looking for at least. So, um, now, originally, I was gonna open up my beer with this drumstick here because everybody's everybody's been different the way that they're opening their beers online. It's becoming like a new game. Like, oh, I can open it with like freaking binoculars. You can open it with like you know a CD. I, I was gonna open it with a stick, but you can see right here. See this this little lip right here. This glass lip. It is it is completely keeping me from being able to get like the grip that I need so I'm just gonna go for a straight up lighter so here it goes I'm gonna pop it in your face let's find a good spot to pop it there we go kept in hand and all all right I'm gonna be using my wonderful crystal chamay glass which I love so dearly now here we go this is gonna be the pour Definitely no no head to this one. No head at all. I like I like head in my beer. It's not not too much. Uh, like one of the guys was saying out there, was he KD or DK or something like that? He was saying, you know, if I got more bubbles, if I got more head, then I, I get less beer. So this is basically, I believe the same thing. Now you can. You can smell the raspberries right off the bat. You don't really get much from the smell other than the raspberries. You don't get any any hoppy smells. You don't get any like weedy smells. It's just basically it's like a it's like a syrupy it's like a syrupy beer without being thick. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Now, just to give you guys a better idea of, of what we're dealing with here, freaking still not getting used to this. All right, there we go. This is what we're dealing with here. We got like a really clear, there we go. Check it out. It is clear. All right. So here comes the taste test. Once again, I've had this before, but I've never, I've never poured it into a glass before. You know, I, I was, I was listening to some reviews online and some people are saying that it's, it's better to pour it in a glass because you get all the smells uh, in in with the taste, uh, the collaboration, just all your senses combined. It just somehow does something to uh, to magnify uh, the experience. But it's more than that. Um, when you pour your beer into a glass or champagne or anything, uh, you're introducing the the oxygen in with the beer. So you're bringing out all of those flavors that you want to smell up close because you have a bigger rim of the rim of the glass. So uh, yeah, here it goes. Woo! 
excuse me. I I think I can speak for all of us when I say that this is the only time I could really be burping without having need to have a, an excuse. <laughs> but excuse me. Now, once again, it doesn't really taste like much of a beer. Kind of tastes like a like a fruity champagne, but you know, less carbonation. It's it really more does focus on uh, on that syrupy approach that it that it offers. Now, I don't, I don't, I think I said this before, but I do not like to to go to go through fruity beers. But I will absolutely make an exception for the the only other fruity beer I'm probably going to put on my list. I, I still can't even think of the name right now, but as soon as I bring it out, it's going to hit the fan. Everyone's going to love it. Um, so, yeah. Nothing really much more to this than that. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is my my beer blog on Amsterdam raspberry. All right, guys and gals, everybody have a good night.